welcome to the Blade Jump Show. My name is High Voltage Scott Perkins. I'm super zazzed up about our Sweet 16 episode. With me, as always, is Tom Collins. Yeah, that's me. Th- those words made yep. sense? Yes. Okay. In that order, they were correct. And James Trainer. Hi. Sometimes I get too zazzed up and I stumble over my words. Wait, oh my God. God. I like getting home from work and taking off my boots and going, These boots stink. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Blade Jump. I will I'll send for me. my things later. Hey, James Trainer, why are you wearing camouflage? You're joining the Marines. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at The Blade Job Show, at High Voltage 1987, yep. at Blade Job <laughs> Collins, also online at TheBladeJob.com, and Facebook.com slash Blade Job. You can now check us out on iTunes, Google Play, and I forgot the other one. Stitcher. Yep, that's the one. Give us a five star review on iTunes, and I won't be angry about it. Yeah, I'll be happy. And yeah. also, this is our Sweet 16 episode. Brought to you by John Hughes.com. So Scott, we went to Beyond last week. That's true, we did. Awesome. It was. It was super good. I liked it. Tim, what'd you do last week? I don't remember. Like after we recorded? Uh, you went to the gym, I think. Well, yeah, probably. Um, On oh, Sunday. I uh, was trying to come up with... I spent a little while and then forgot about <coughs> it, and now I'm angry. I was trying to come up with a good 16 candles joke since it's our... 16th. Uh, since last week? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't... Well, I didn't do the whole week. I did, like, a little bit that day. Like an hour, and you're like, I'm done. Wasn't yeah, even that's an a hour. big commitment for it me. It really is. Yeah, dude. It I don't even focus on this for an hour. What? It's only been 32 seconds, so you... Sorry. You gotta keep Ugh. going. Over. Oh, just hurry up. Um, Beyond oh was God, great. Oh, this is so long and forever taking. I enjoyed Beyond. I always enjoy Beyond. It was a good time. I enjoyed that calzone I had. Yeah. Where'd you get a calzone? Beyond. Beyond. Oh, yeah. Happy Mama Colorado. Yeah. It did was, you get uh, me one? Uh, no. Did you get me hash browns? Yeah, and then you mocked me, so I ate your hashy. Oh. Nobody nobody, nobody calls him that. The dude who handed me my hashy called him that. Is so this a true story? Doing, yeah. Like, before I came here, I went and got so here's my hashies. hashies. Yeah, I don't think he normally works the window. I think he normally, like, works in the back. <laughs> they keep him. <laughs> they keep him in the, the cave. Well, I don't know. Whatever it's called back by the fryer, I assume it's called the cave. And he like comes up, he's like, "Here's your hashies," and then he starts running away. Did he scamper? He scampered. It was the light. I did he's like not yell used to, it. to him to ask for ketchup. It was it was slightly chillier than next to the fry. Yeah, <laughs> fry maker. Um, but yeah. I feel like you're just getting off topic yeah. when. Scott and I just try and be professional We're all the time. We're just trying to talk. Right, well, about try to talk about Beyond. Top, so if you Frass. could just stop for a second. Who? We're going to have our Rassle Frass podcast. Okay. So go on. Tell talk me about, about that. Talk about that Beyond Shh. show. We're talking. There was pulled pork yeah, and there was go on. cheese. What kind of calzone was it? It was a pulled pork. It was pulled pork calzone? Yeah, it was pretty nice. dope. Oh, okay. I thought you, you were talking what else was there, but yeah. No, no. Uh, no that's no. awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, got to see Dick Justice again. It's always good What was that match? It was Dick Justice, mm-hmm. Orange Cassidy, and Shockwave the Robot. Oh, that's right, yeah. Versus the Pullet Club. Nice. Um, I want to list. I want to hear about that. But James, do you want to like jump in here? I feel like we're just carrying the show at this point. Yeah. That's All right, now stop. Happens. All right, go on. <laughs> I'll take a nap today. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. No. Uh, I don't care. How, I'm on how vacation. Was, how was that match? That w- it was awesome. Why are you on vacation? Like is it just a regular just for vacation? the next hour, and then I'll be back. That sounds like. And they have to go back. To Where work? are you going? Oh, where are you going for vacation? Uh, this this. Oh, it's a staycation. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna sit right here and look at you awkwardly. <laughs> you have to do your honey do list. <laughs> go to honey do donuts. No, it's usually just like cleaning up the yard and shit. Honey do. That was that match. It was good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It. Uh. It. The, Did you say honeydew bones? Melons. Oh, melons. Oh, okay, yeah. That I'll makes more it. sense. Um, the uh, the Pullet Club, they're awesome together because it's just dudes with weird gimmicks. Yeah. And, the, <laughs> and then 
the uh, as opposed to Dick Justice, yeah, Orange yeah. Cassidy, and the, Shockwave the robot. The which, team of the team of Dick Justice, Jesus. Orange Cassidy, and Shockwave the robot. They had a really good dynamic, um, just because they're so different. I mean, the robot's a robot. You know, obviously, obviously, it's his name. and then yeah. And, uh, at one point, they were beating up Orange Cassidy, and Dick Justice goes, I don't even care. I don't like that guy. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I, I liked that match a lot, and then the ending was good. You should watch it on Powerbomb.tv. I'm not going to spoil the ending for anybody, but it's definitely worth watching. Hey, spoiler alert. What? He didn't spoil it. Well, now I know it's worth watching. I'm just too excited. I don't think I can watch it now. That makes sense. It's like Rick and Morty. I don't know if I can watch it. Everybody tells me to, but. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says. Oh, you'd love it. I I, re- I, like I, rec- I recommend like mind altering substances that are legal in the state of Massachusetts. Marijuana, <laughs> mushrooms. No, I can go buy mushrooms. Not the. Never mind. I'll, I'll explain that later. Why you're wrong? We'll give you the drug talk. Wait, like guy. when we're doing LSD, you'll explain it to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. PCP today. All right. I decided Guys. to mix it up. <laughs> I decided to tear down my house by hand. Let's do some PCP. Let's do some PCP. Let's do it in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> so people take it more seriously. Um, exactly. <laughs> I was in... So we had the amazing comedy wrestling, and it was... On Rick and Morty? No, oh, okay. um, Beyond Wrestling. Oh, okay. Abundanza. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. know. Some Italian thing. I have no oh, okay. idea. You say it with your hands, though. Hey. Yeah, you said it's an Italian oh. thing. Oh. <laughs> and they followed Calzone. that up. <laughs> they followed that up with a 20,000 thumbtack match. Yep. Uh, immediately after. after. Was it the next match? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's better yeah. than immediately before, I guess. Well, yeah. I No, there was still, like, uh, like Massage Envy. They have the, the flower petals that they throw over Oh, there. yeah. They were so still... there was, like, a mix of, like, bloody thumbtacks and, and fake flower petals. Everywhere. RSP, I think, at one point, like, picked up one of the petals. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I and... feel like that's a cover of an early 2000s emo CD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's probably in my wife's car it right probably now. Is. <laughs> that match, <laughs> it went from... That's where I've seen it. Okay. Yeah. LOL, this match is entertaining and lighthearted to dear God, these men might be dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are you bleeding so much? <laughs> that match was... Bloody. Brutal. I mean, Nick uh, Gage, Ricky Shane Page, I and mean, you kind of don't... It, I, and I'm not saying that they're not good wrestlers because they're both very good wrestlers but when you have a match of that type you know what you're getting with those two guys yeah blood you're you're getting Lots blood and violence i my favorite i think my favorite part of that match was watching it with dave cole and like it's cool to see an actual wrestler like how they react to a match like that and it was awesome. He was. I think it. he. I think he fanboyed out a little bit too. Oh, he absolutely fanboyed and, out a little and bit. And I appreciate that because, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's good. It's good to see you know somebody who's done it get still get excited for it. You know? Yeah. Still. You know, it, it's. I mean, on a much smaller scale, it's like when you hear those stories of these you know iconic like WrestleMania matches where you hear like everyone in the back. Doesn't matter who they were, they all stopped what they were doing. They found a monitor, they found a way to see the match, and yeah. they all stopped yeah. because that's what they wanted to see. And and I feel like that was kind of. I mean, I didn't see many people in the building who usually are doing other things not paying attention to this match. Yeah, everyone like, stopped what they were doing because they knew it was going to be something special. They knew it was going to be something grotesque, and it was like. It was worth it. I mean, the good news here, the good news is Ricky Shane Page doesn't have to go to Piercing Emporium to get those earrings he wanted. Oh God, <laughs> did he? Did he get pierced? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. A couple times. Mm. Yep. I mean, yeah. Save some money. I guess. Yeah. Sanitary. I mean, how much does a tetanus Some's shot cost? Yeah. I I mean his his. Listen I, here, money bags. All right. I assume it's his. You just toughen up your body. But she was like some lady who was with him was picking thumbtacks out of him just, like just well after the match person. and he's like he's talking to people taking pictures with him while she's just like fucking pulling tacks out of him that was pretty dope I just I just picture like the 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 monkeys you know just, yeah mm-hmm. you know, picking picking bugs out of the hair yeah that was awesome and I gotta say the Doom Patrol versus Janelope that was a really good match too yeah and Penelope Ford <clears throat> for like she's tiny but she can fucking... She's super tiny. Yeah, but she was, like, just 
hanging with the big boys because it's like Doom Patrol. They're both that's they hit hard. Yeah, Dickinson's just a massive human being. Yeah, he's you know he's, he just wrestles he's wide. Zubas now. He's yeah, which well, is awesome. he's just like I don't care, fuck it. Mm. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do? Not have him on the show? No, you're gonna have him on the show. No, they're 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 biffles. Yeah, and uh, what else? Uh, what's his name? Anthony Green fought a guy who looked somewhat like Jesus. He just had long hair and a beard, so everybody was just like screaming Jesus stuff. And I don't know if he like was playing along or if he was getting legitimately mad. But it was kind of funny how mad he was getting. The jokes weren't good. They were ooh, throw water and wine. Ah! Like that was fucking dumb. That's lazy. It's but lazy. Yeah, joke it right? was. It's like you can't go into like humor. some real deep Bible stuff. I don't know any, but. You know, I'm sure there's some better Bible stuff than we all have than phones. That. We all have the internet. They yeah. could look something up real I'm not quick. Gonna look stuff up about the Bible. Why it's not? a good book. How else are you gonna get into heaven? It's the good book. Uh, we we should have a talk after. Yeah. No, I think we should. you and me. You I, and me should. <laughs> about Jesus. Okay. Yeah. I'm all ears, but it's Sunday. It is small Sunday. beers. Small beers, all ears. Big rears. Ooh. Tall years. Tall years. That... It rhymes. Tall ears it of rhymes. corn. Tall ears of corn. Tall ears of corn. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, call it that... maze. Save me a piece Americans. of that corn. The Native Americans. Maze. Call darn engines. Do we have to beep that? Mm-hmm. No. No. <laughs> Listen, there's... Pl- <laughs> Why do you have to yes. beep that? <laughs> I wasn't saying it, like, for real. Yeah. It was clearly... Satirical. Is that satire? That's not satire. That's not satire. It's what's the word I'm looking for? Dude, um, you gotta focus. This this episode's got off the rails. You normally keep us in check. I know. I'm, you are doing a terrible job today. Sarcasm, I believe, is a word. Would here. it be yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't true. know. It just doesn't feel like Isn't that's it right ironic, word. don't you think? It's like rain. <sighs> just, it, just rain, rain, rain by itself is ironic. No. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, okay. So they finally on your wedding up, day. Shut the fuck up. Who, who finished I think up? Shut the fuck up. Exactly. They finally finished. No, no, no. no. You, who finished that? You did. Who? Fin- I didn't finish on the yeah. fuck up. Clearly, if I'm still talking. You're always still talking. They now, right? finally. <laughs> it's like my one hour finished week that I talked. the tournament for tomorrow. That oh. was cool. Go on. It was MJF and Wheeler Yuta, and it was awesome. They didn't give him a trophy, or a pizza well, trophy. Jordan didn't get one either. Yeah, I don't know. I well, just, I mean, she she. A no, yeah, the tournament tomorrow, nothing. She won the, the Revolutionary Rumble. Now she gets to face Emma. That's I'm, cool. I'm, I'm, do, 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 who? Do, do, do. Tenille Dashwood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. Tenille Dashwood. Yeah. Um, I no, I what? can't believe how like. How six? Well, I mean, I can because it happens, but it's like how quickly. How quickly she's just, like, killed it on the indies mm-hmm. and why WWE didn't do anything with her. Like, here's tiny gloves and some black lipstick. Go not do anything. Mm-hmm. They built up to it. You remember there was months where they were building up to... Emelina. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, we're bringing her back, a whole new character, and then they scrap it. She comes back as just Emma, but as like a weird stripper cop. Like the like you said, the little gloves, the aviators. Like she had no direction. She just kind of yeah. You know, she came out. I think her first match back, one of her first few, she just got squashed by Asuka. Well, most people do. Yeah, but there's yeah, no maybe one's second ready for match. Asuka. They had a really really good yeah, match. Maybe don't book her against Asuka. Especially if you're trying to build her into something. Right. No. Like Asuka's who you feed jobbers and mid carters to. Right. It like she can beat up Alicia Fox all she wants, but She's been with the company for like ten years. It's yeah. so weird. It's been yeah. a long time. The first and only African American Divas champion. It's a fact, it's on her oh, Twitter. Divas. Divas champion. champion. Yeah, Divas. I was gonna say because yeah. Jacqueline yeah. was women's women's champion. champion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct. Well, that's dumb, because I'm glad you're proud about holding a fucking butterfly belt. It's cute. Better than any belt I've held. Yeah, it's cute if you bought one for your daughter, who's, what, seven? Well, that's the one she always tries to wrestle for on 
the game. Well, yeah. She's seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bailey definitely holds the Divas Championship on, on PlayStation in my house. Well, yeah. That's a fact. Bailey's seven. <laughs> Bailey is, <laughs> Bailey that, is designed for seven-year-olds. Ba- I See, I really... That's the thing. But we're getting off topic for a second. That's okay. Again, that's oh, called oh, content. Oh, just now? Yeah, <laughs> I love content. Bailey in the ring. It's called B sides. I think they need to if they want to keep her the the light hearted, you know, kid friendly, you know, women seven year old then division like, that children title. Well, no, it's not even that. Well, she did. They but. just need to they need to rework it a little bit because this whole like. I trust everyone, and then they betray me. Thing is getting old. Yeah. How many times does Sasha have to kick her in the face before she realizes maybe Sasha isn't really her friend? Twelve. <laughs> but they are. You should see them on Instagram. It's adorable. Did you see their picture with Norman Smiley? No. They each posted the same picture with the other one cut out. <laughs> I thought that was cute, and like, you know, maybe a storyline somewhere. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Beyond wrestling. At Electric Haze was really good. Remember Electric that? Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Um, Did you try any of their Calzones? Yes. What, what did you have? You had a Buffalo, buffalo right? Yeah. Mm, nice. It's they good. had just sold the last Buffalo when I went up it there. It was so probably it was, the one I bought. It, was, it probably was. Well, the one that, you know. Was bought after you? Was bought for me. By yeah. your lady. <clears throat> she needs a. She needs a, a wrestling, wrestling name. name. Yeah. It's a lady. We don't have an, we don't really have a female presence on this show. No. <laughs> no girls allowed. Yeah. <laughs> this but, is, this but the is R in girls is backwards. Yeah. Yeah. The He Man Woman Hater Club. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, uh, Wheeler and MJF. I really enjoyed that match. MJF mm. is such a good heel. He's so goddamn good. And Wheeler is one of those natural baby faces. Yep. He's just, he exudes charisma. He's just this, like, you know, this exudes guy. Exudes doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah, no. Yeah, but it just sounds weird when he says it. Yeah. He's just one of those guys, like, I want to hang out with him. Exudes moisture. <laughs> See, it doesn't sound weird when he says Ew. exudes. Exudes. Just, exudes. Uh, I loved I love that match. I mean, the the false finishes, the back and forth. It, it it was just that was that was the best match I've ever seen either of them have. The, yeah, they like a lot of times you're like, oh okay, he just hit this move. He's going for a pin. You know, it's not going to be the end of the match. But there was a there was a few in that one where it like legitimately, if the match had stopped there, you'd have been like, oh okay, that like. Well, that's that's the thing sense. in general about the you know the independent circuit that I like better is that. You don't have to use your finisher to win. Nope. Like, like in WWE and even for the most part, you know, TNA, Ring of Honor, and New Japan. New Japan's a little different, but you y- you win when you hit your finisher. Yes. Like that's how it works. And obviously, in you know, Ring of Honor, TNA, the Indies, New Japan, they still often win when they hit their finishers. But you see more victories off of just powerful moves. You see more victories off of you know, back and forth roll ups. What did oh. it was an avalanche I forget what they did. It was it was like an avalanche Death Valley driver or something that was at that Beyond show. I forget who did it to who. But or it was what awesome. it was. I don't know. It but was it a, was cool. It was a Got while it. ago. It was a whole week ago. Tom Collins. It was a week ago. One week. One week. Who did it? Who done it? What did they do? Who did they do it to? Everyone. Can't wait to punch you in the face while you're sleeping. I'm gonna punch you in the back of your face. In the back of the face. Um. <laughs> the back of your freaking face. The back. <laughs> but no, uh, that that was good. Um, I like Martin Stone a lot. I'm a big fan of his. And and that was who did he wrestle? The next topic: Triple Threat, Powerbomb, Independent Wrestling Championship. Martin uh, Stone, Jonathan Gresham, Tracy Williams. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. That, I have not been more invested in a title match in a long time. I don't know. I just loved it. I loved it. Um, I mean, once again, you know, as you're saying, Martin Stone is just, he he's. He's quality. He's just good. He's just. 
super good. He he has he he's he's not a he's not a pure striker. He's not a pure submission. He's really really well rounded, but he's really really good at everything he does. Yeah. You know, it's like you know Zack Saber Jr. I love Zack Saber Jr. He is a pure mat wrestler. He's a submission artist. You know, like a Great. sandwich artist, but yeah. submissions. Um. Yeah. Right. No. No. This you know exactly awkward. what I'm talking about. They work at Subway. Anyways, so Martin Stone is just this. I mean, his strikes are. <laughs> I get it. God damn it. <laughs> his strikes are are perfect. He's got you know he's got that that strong style. You know he's he's really he's really big on the striking. He's also really innovative when it comes to his mat work, um, and he's just entertaining. Yep. He's he's really really entertaining. He knows how to work the crowd. He knows how to work the match. He's just everything. And he's a nice guy. Yeah, that's what people tell me. I've still never really said more than like, "Hey, good match." So, uh, no, he's a cool guy. Next time you see him, tell him what's up. Tell him what's up. I don't know what it means. Fucking tell him what's up. All right, I did. I always do. Yeah. What's up? What's mm-hmm. up? What's up? No, that that match was good and. Gresham wasn't supposed to even wrestle that. No, nah, I thought Gresham was injured because he was pulled off another show, and it was going to be Martin Stone and Tracy Williams. For, like, a number one contendership. I think it was just going to be a match. Oh, okay. And then all of a sudden it, Gresham was cleared, so they just, fuck it, make it a triple threat. Yeah, I was walking up to the building, and I saw Gresham, like, Outside, I figured he'd be there because Grace was there, and I was like, "Oh!" But he looks like he was kind of like geared, like it was hard to tell because he was wearing like. But you, he was wearing sweatpants. He wasn't wearing jeans, so I was like, "Oh, he might have his gear on underneath." Um, Anytime you ever see me in sweatpants, I got my gear on underneath. I I thought it was funny we were were outside um, before the show started. Man, you ain't got no gear. It's true, and. I own a Jordan Grace pants. comes out of the building. <laughs> she's wearing like, like a sweatshirt. Yeah, it's juicy. Sweatpants. And then her it's ring so gear, weird. and she's walking down Millbury Street. And it was just kind of a, it was just kind of a sight. I was just like, why does that woman not have pants? Oh, it, it's it's a wrestler. It's Jordan Grace. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now why she doesn't wear pants. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've been like standing outside and like, you know, <laughs> standing outside Electric Haze, and you see some. Someone without pants come running out well, of the Well, like, yeah, like, like Gresham or, or someone, like, step outside of Electric Haze just to get some air, and they're just in their ring gear. And it, to someone driving by, it's like, what is going on? Why is that man in his underpants? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, once again, we won't give away the finish of that match, but that match was... That was good. That was one of the best title matches I've seen in a long time. You know what you match know, regardless I of brands. thoroughly mm. enjoyed was American Strong versus EYFBO. That was a hell of a main event. That was not a main event. It was not the main mm-hmm. event. The triple threat was. But if was. it was. But if it, it was. been a hell of a main event. In my mind, that was the main event, even um, though I knew the title match was next. I don't right. know why it, I keep it doing was, that. It was the main event in your mind because it easily could have been the main event. They, EYFBO the tends to main event. event beyond shows. Because they always put on really good matches. They do. Um, And then American Strong, like, I don't think that Jay Freddy and Rory Gulak get enough credit. They're both insanely talented. Oh, yeah. And, you know, every everyone was cheering EYFBO, and Jay Freddy was like, he goes, hey, guys, you know, we're good guys, too, right? Like, you can cheer us. And I was like, yeah, like, these guys are fucking awesome. Yeah, I can cheer you. I can cheer you. I'm going to choose not to. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Freddy. <laughs> I cheered both. I cheered both. Yeah. They did. No, that was, that was a really good match. It was a fun match. Very, uh, Rory Gulak is very, he's a good, like, wrestler. Like a Greco-Roman mm. style, like, risk control and... I, I don't know. That's the only <laughs> word I know. In Risk control and other terms. Take takedowns. I think is a word they use. I don't know. That that is a word they use. It was a really popular sport in our high school. Christ. But Tom Collins and I were not really popular in our high, in our high school. So you. Yeah. Really? Who, who would have yeah, thought? Yeah, I actually had to he, he get, had, have that revelation with him a few years ago. That we weren't you cool guys in high school. Popular. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know. It's like. Yeah, I knew. So you notice how you only talk to me? Oh, yeah. 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 
That's no. okay. Fuck them. Fuck them. Actually, you're pretty much the only person from high school I still, like, really hang out with, right? Yeah. You're also, like, the only person I hung out with. Yeah. Nah. Oh, well. I got you guys now. Aw. I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. Um. So, might as well yeah. touch on the chamber. It was a pay-per-view. It happened. Moving on. All right, good talk. Uh, um, <laughs> who won the men's yeah. elimination chamber? You already know. Everyone I hope already it was knows. John Cena. It was <laughs> John Reigns. John Reigns. John. Roman Cena. Did you see the gif that someone made from WWE 2K18 where it's Roman Reigns and John Cena, but they're doing the Miz's intro, Miz and... Um, Maurice. Maurice. <laughs> so it's the kiss and then kind of prance down the walkway and then cuts to Vince McMahon in the back, still in the video game, like being all visibly upset while they're on the little TV. He wouldn't in be the back upset office, with that. Like, he would have loved it. It's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, big, um, these big sweaty men. Oh, they're kissing. Arr. Um, You guys want to watch bodybuilders? <laughs> the World Bodybuilding Federation? Yep. Bring it back. Fuck the XFL. Yo, speaking of XFL, I was going to have a weird segue to get into that, but thanks for bringing it well, up. Hold on, we're not done How yet. great would it be God for Gronk it. to be involved? Either in XFL or WWE. Well, I love Gronk. There's talk Gronk of Gronk him Gronk. retiring to join yeah. the WWE. Yeah, he's, that's he's said, why I brought this I don't up. even watch football, and I know he's said in interviews that the NFL was always kind of a stepping stone for him. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good stepping stone. Um, but like hype bros 2.0, him and Rowley. Hmm? Yep. Well, because they're they're Have they're biffles him? in real life. Yeah. Yeah, because they're the same person. Yeah, they're just meatheads. Like they look exactly alike. I don't get hyped. I stay hyped. They, too. they all stay hyped. I don't Have understand him? that. Have question. both of them and Zack Ryder, and then just have them go against like the New Day, um, New Undisputed Day? Era, uh, oh, pancakes. Uh, right? Uh, uh, insanity? No, it's just sanity. Insanity. Insanity. Lynn Sanity. They get that guy in here. I don't know his name. Lynn. Lynn who? He was the basketball player. He's from China. He was like seven foot six. You're thinking of Yao Ming. I don't know what you're... No, there was Lynn Sanity. Oh, that was a kid. He went to Harvard and like sucked, but he got drafted by the... Um, not the Nets. The other, the New York basketball they, team. They just hire him because he was tall, and, and they were like... he ended up being like pretty good for a season. But he was like sleeping on his friend's couch, like he couldn't afford an apartment or something. I don't know. He was playing in the NBA. I'm assuming they were giving him money. I don't know. I don't know how the NBA works. Well, they play basketball. I know they play basketball. Okay. And then they also like fall well, over all the time. And they're like Ow, National oh, that's Basketball soccer. Association. Right. It's a governing body. Nuba. For... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, um, most of the that teams are Man based in the United States, except for cool one. Runnings. That's a good. The one. Toronto yeah. Raptors. That's the only Raptors. One, right? uh, I think Vancouver used to have a team. Well, they might used to doesn't fucking count, does it? Um, Seattle used to have one. Seattle's getting a hockey team. That'll be cool. Are they? Yeah. Dude, they're getting a bunch of teams. They're getting a rugby team. Nice. Yeah. The uh, Sea Wolves. They're going with the same sea theme. Because I guess uh, Orcas are Sea Wolves. Who's going to be their hockey team, though? The Sea Otters. Otters. <laughs> I don't think that's true. So then the Mariners, they drive Probably the boat not. and they're like, oh, look up in the sky. <laughs> it's a Seahawk. <laughs> oh, look in the water. It's a Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. And a Sea Otter. And a She Hulk? No, not quite. That's a stretch. <laughs> So, anyways, the problem. What were we talking about? Why the were we talking about King Griffey Jr.? <laughs> because, anyways, S- the chamber. Uh, Seattle Mariners. Yeah. Okay. I. You look confused. I actually, I didn't Ichiro. hate the event. Like, I thought most of the matches were pretty good. It was just predictable. It was. It. And 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 I understand that sometimes things are going to be predictable, but this was. Every single match. I, yeah, I don't like how they have Elimination Chamber between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. It's like you're 
you know, it's the biggest specialty match in the Royal Rumble, and then you have another, like, really big specialty match. I, like, that would be better later on in the year. Some Sometime after Mania, like... It should... It should- it should be used like it was originally intended, where it's a title match. The title is on the line. Well, normally it is, but the title holder doesn't doesn't work. have fucking time for that. Well, yeah, he's too busy meeting with Dana White. Well, no, the let re- him fucking meet the, with Dana White. No, I I want him gone at this yeah. point. I don't fucking care. It's not the real reason, guys. What's the real reason, Tom Collins? His shoulders are too broad to fit into the elimination chamber, so they had to take. But Braun him was match. in there. Yeah, they made a specialty cage. I don't understand your question. Moving on. Anyway, <laughs> they didn't have time uh, to was make just, two. Like I'm not even. I'm not one of these people that's gonna sit here <clears throat> and bitch and moan about Roman Reigns. I really. I don't care. I don't care. the The problem I have with the the men's elimination chamber was that they booked Braun so strong, and they made him look like the monster that he is and then he essentially just jobs out to a couple spears yeah yeah i like what what good did you do to braun it would have been better for braun strowman if at when everyone hit their finishers on him and then all piled on top of him to pin him that would have been better for his character to lose right then than to go one on one with roman reigns and lose yeah to a couple spears but True. apparently the spear is like the most devastating move in wrestling history. He, he took a spear during that finisher fest too, though. And an AA, which is also a devastating move. It's a fucking DVD. We all know it. It's not impressive. Yeah. I I don't know. I, still kind of impressive. See, <laughs> Well, when he does it to like the big show and shit. Yeah, nah, I'm still impressed. Remember when he did it to big show and edge at yeah, the same yeah, time? That was, pretty impressive. that was pretty dope. That was at WrestleMania 25, if anybody's wondering. 25, nope. I've heard that's a good one. It's pretty good. Didn't have some guy versus some other guy in a career match, career nope. versus streak. Was it, was it, no, uh, no. Was it no Chris Jericho match? No. I'll tell wasn't. you that much. Uh, Chris Jericho fought at 25 Steamboat. Yeah. Um, He fought a bunch of old guys. Oh. Uh, uh, Roddy Piper? Piper. Steamboat, yep. Piper, and one more. But he ended up winning that match, and then Mickey Rourke like, punched him in the face. It was right after well, the wrestler came was, out. Yeah, that was a good Ricky movie. Steamboat was it? Superfly. Yeah, and Roddy Piper, I think. Jimmy Snuka. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jimmy Snuka did not. Yeah, look. It, it it was it was that whole like yeah it, it was Jericho talking about how he's the greatest of all time. Yeah, and yeah. And he's and like, then, I'm gonna beat up all the legends. If yeah. Steamboat like got into the ring today, he still looks like. No, no he looked great. You're like, oh, okay, he's yeah, timeless. He's yeah. just a little older. That's yeah, it. he's a little older. He looks weird with a beard. I've never. Seen I haven't him seen him with a beard. It I looks, don't think. Looks odd. I watched a match. It was uh, CM Punk against Brian Danielson in Ring of Honor, and he was a referee, and he had a beard. Hmm. I was like, nah, man. Did he still have dark hair, or was he gray at that point, or white? It was going. It, it, this was an old match. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to think those two, because Punk debuted in 06. Yeah. So this is pre-06, so 02, yeah. 03, 04. And Ricky Steamboat did not like Punk at all in that match. So in that it match. It was interesting. In real life. In real life, they probably love each other. But no, they probably don't. Punk doesn't seem to like anyone. Uh, he likes AJ. He likes AJ. He probably Styles? likes Debray. Yeah. Well, who doesn't like AJ Styles? I thought you were saying earlier that you hated him. No, no, no. no. Well, that was something else. Okay. No, no, no. I hate Air Jordans. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. See oh, that right. starts with an AJ. All right. There you go. I was like, what the fuck are you talking? That about? was I mean, me that thinking was, on my was... feet for five minutes. Wait. That took you a whole five minutes. No, I think it was like because I just seconds. said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I was thinking ago. about this before you said it. Jesus Christ! Get a better life. Okay. Um, and it was just like Alexa Bliss mm. retaining. I'm I'm fine with because that was a, the the women's chamber was way better than the men's chamber. Was it in my in my opinion? Um, Why? But at the same time, because they're I, more I, acrobatic. I don't know. I'm. That's generally well, an and, and I will question. answer that question. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, I I think that Oscar is definitely billed as a as a face at this point. She's no longer the, she she's an she's she's an anti-hero. She's not 
quite a face, but she's not a heel. And her and Alexa, Alexa, her character is so cocky. I think Asuka's streak versus Alexa's cockiness is going to make for a really good women's title match. Yeah, no, it's... It's going to be awesome. Like, we saw Sasha and Charlotte for so long. I didn't want to see Sasha and Asuka. I just didn't... I love Sasha Banks. You know, I mean, hell, she's our, you know, she's our hometown girl. Like, I love Sasha Banks. She's awesome in the ring. Why don't you marry her? Ooh. I'm pretty sure she's already married. Yeah. I mean, if not, I'd ask. I mean, I can't, you know. I mean, you can ask anywhere. Yeah. Where I mean, she's going to happen, she's going to say no. And yeah. No, where is going to happen is maze. <laughs> it's a bear maze, bro. I'm going to bring one of those little, like, like face shields. It's really just a popsicle stick with some plastic on it and hold it in front of my face. You marry me. <laughs> 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 What's the answer? <laughs> um, I she I want to no on the yeah. uh, shield. <laughs> I, I want to see Banks versus Bailey. I mean, it seems like they're hinting at it. This whole back and forth, like we're besties, but they keep fucking. Sasha keeps betraying her over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And I'm just like, Jesus Women Christ. Women do that. Why don't you guys just That's like, their friends. just kiss already and just, just oh my God. Like, because it, it's been going on f- since NXT. Yeah. Like, even, like, I mean, granted, Sasha was heel at the time. She's pretty much been faced since she hit the main roster. Like, give or take. Yeah. Um, she She's a face who has done heelish things. She's a face who kind of acts like a total bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I... See, that's their new show. Fuck Total Divas, just Total Bitches. Total Bitches. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've never seen an episode of Total Divas, and I don't think I, I want to. Honestly, the the first season was kind of interesting, because I threw... Like, they were doing a marathon one day, and I was like, I got nothing better to do. It's like... Yes, you do. It's anything, already like 8 o'clock Literally at night. anything else in the world you Well, hold do. on, hold on. No, there's no excuse. Every episode was just uh, um, Naomi and whatever Uso she's married to. Jimmy. Just yelling at each other. And it was super entertaining because it, it was just like, he doesn't understand what, what, what we're going through. And he's just like, yo, I just want to play video games. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It, it, was, it was the stupidest thing because you know it's not real in any yeah, way. Yeah, okay, good. Like you know, it's complete. It's bullshit. still real to me. It's fake. Yeah, it's faker than. The, it's faker than wrestling. Than wrestling. Yeah, it's fake it's, wrestling. Um, the whole and the whole like you ever hear like the stories of like, uh, like John Cena, like his household, all of his crazy rules. Yeah, yeah. They 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 go do, into do, that do, in one of the episodes. What are and the rules? He has like n- like no shoes allowed in the house, which is like it's not okay, crazy. Whatever. That's but how you keep floors clean. There's 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 no TVs or something. Okay. Like at all. Um. I, mean, I don't agree with that one, but yeah. I get it. Yeah, you have to like wear a suit. Yeah, you have to dinner. wear a suit to dinner. <clears throat> like, and what like, if you just get Taco Bell, then you have to put a suit on. Yeah, and D. Bry <laughs> and Bree show up who Wait, live in like get... a cabin in the woods, and they're like, "All right." But what if? <laughs> now hear me out. No. Scenario: What if it's like two a.m. Yeah, and I'm coming home. Yeah. With some Wendy's. Yeah. So I get a chicken sandwich and some chili. Do I have to put a suit on? No, no. you get chili on my pants. You have not- to take your pants off. Everybody knows when you get chili, you take. But then your pants you don't have off. a suit on. Well, you can have a suit jacket. You, no, but this on. is you with have dinner. A suit jacket. That, that's not dinner. That's two a.m. I'm eating to make. You don't know my life. <laughs> that's two a.m. Two a.m. Let me finish off all the bad decisions I made yeah. today. Yeah. Um. No, but okay. Fine. Yeah, whatever. What if I moving on? What if I get Divas. Wendy's for dinner then? At whatever you think an appropriate time for dinner is. I don't know what, like six o'clock or something. Uh, Weirdo. Take your pants off. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Not now. Not now, please. The Specify. I don't know. The, the 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 chamber was like I I don't know about you, but I get all the I get those surveys from WWE, and I pretend like they ma- they mean something, and I know they don't. Like I know that WWE prior your opinion goes, doesn't matter. Yeah, fuck you. Uh-huh. Um, but I always like to look at them because I like to look, at the very end of the surveys. They're like, "What was your 
most unexpected moment or your favorite moment of, of this event. And I like reading through them because I'm like, what does WWE consider the standout moments? You know, to me, the standout moment was the crowd chanting, you fucked up to Stephanie after she slapped Ronda Rousey. Obviously, WWE is not going to put that as an option. They should. They you Because well, she done fucked up. Well, they do it sometimes, like... You know, they'll say, like, holy shit, and then, you know, Michael Cole will be like, wow, the crowd sure is right about that. You know, like, they, they reference it. I'm glad they've started, like... Acknowledging stuff? Well, they've, they've stopped <laughs> dropping the, like, the volume of the crowd. They used to do that all the time whenever there was a chant like that. They just, like, slightly drop the audio or have the announcers talk really loud. Yeah. Um, By God, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Oh, JBL. You're a dick. <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, he's off being a dick in foreign lands. Yeah. Teaching, foreign lands. I don't know, he's <clears throat> teaching children rugby and how to bully people. It might be oh, good. some Pacific Island. Really good island. wedgies. Pacific Island. Which island? Pacific Island. Specific. I can't get specific no, Pacific, on the Pacific. Pacific Islands, they don't need to be taught rugby. They... Well, I didn't say he was doing something useful, just that oh, he was okay. there. They're all like, yeah, rugby and fried chicken. That's yeah, like, we our get thing. it. <laughs> rugby, fried chicken, and getting drunk. It's true, kid. It sounds like a life. It's my dream. That's that's like the Samoan life. We had a we had a cookout and for the rugby team. My Samoan friend just brought a bucket of fried chicken. And was just like, did he cook the fried chicken? No, no dude. Well, well, fried chicken all fuck? day long. Fried, yeah. It's crazy. You didn't. Pre- yeah, no, no, no. Uh, oh, can you can you bring a salad? Sure, and they bring a bag of salad. You didn't bring a salad. You bought a salad. Yeah, that's not how it works. So, yeah, it does. No, it's not. I don't know. I I expect I, people to try. I expect people when well, I have a cookout to just bring assorted meats and I will cook them on the grill. And yeah, according to you, our producer, you know it's really good the uh, the potato salad from Shaw's. But this kids all about the Shaw's that. second time. Trash can and Shaw's have been in the same conversation. <laughs> Peanut butter, chocolate, or, or uh, not Oreos, um, oh. Cheerios. We, we we were talking earlier. I showed up on time today for the first time ever. Yeah, so did I, but I was stuck outside. Yeah, it happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, because of you. Why Fuck didn't you go in the door? So what? Just walk in the door. Cause yeah, who cares? I don't. I think it was locked, actually. Yeah, it was no. locked. It, it happens. That's why. Um so, so I was about to break the window. I mean, obviously we've got. So I, I mean, honestly, I haven't, I haven't watched SmackDown in a while. But can we talk about who the fuck does John Cena think he is? He is a free agent. One. I don't care. Language. No, hold on. Two. Fuck off. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so he gets he gets put in the elimination chamber. Yep. Okay. He loses. Yep. Okay. So then he goes, I'm mad. I don't get a WrestleMania moment now. I'm going to SmackDown and challenge for their title. And walks in and goes, I want a title match. Uh. Like, and so now, so we talked about this last week. So that's going to be a triple threat? No, dude, no. It was a one-on-one. It was AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Yeah. Then it was a triple threat with Sami Zayn. Then it was a fatal four with Dolph Ziggler. Then it was a uh, fatal five way with Baron Corbin. Now it is a six pack challenge with John Cena. There is six people in the title match of Fast Lane to decide who is WWE champion going into WrestleMania. I want him to try and get up to a Baker's dozen. Why? Because, because why, it'd be awesome to have does, thirteen people shut fighting. Up. Why does Baron tell me Corbin? My life. Why does Baron Corbin get a title shot? Why, why does, does Dolph, Dolph Ziggler? Ziggler? Dolph Ziggler fucking. Left, like, dude, no, you're at the bottom. Work your the way up. The thing that's worrying me is we all saw the kind of contract that Ziggler just signed with the company. Did that contract involve a title run? Because you know sometimes guys sign on yeah. with a guaranteed title run. And to me, I like Dolph Ziggler. His character is so unbelievably stale. He's been the same character. Yeah, for he's he's a diet four, Shawn Michaels. Five years. Yeah. If it's, not more. He was better when he was a fucking male cheerleader. Hmm. I don't know. Nikki! I, I still find it funny that the some of the Spirit Squad guys still wrestle as the Spirit Squad. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Well, they were probably like, oh, no, we might not. get sued. And Vince was like, I don't give a shit about that. Yeah, he Fuck was like, off. Seriously, I don't fucking care. <laughs> um, it, I, I don't know. It just, SmackDown, like, I've been watching bits and pieces of it, but honestly, it's a struggle to get through. I think it's we said not, it last week. A year ago, it was the you have, show. So, so let's talk about indie stars. You've got AJ Styles, you have Kevin Steen, and you have El Generico. And you can't do anything with that? They also have Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. Bobby Roode. pretty good, yeah. It, um, uh, who else just came up recently in the past year from NXT? Uh, John Cena. <laughs> do, 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 do. <sighs> Fucking John Cena. I watched Daddy's Home 2 with John Cena. Yeah, how was that? It was all right. I never saw the first one. It's fun for the whole family. Was it? Was it? Yeah, it's it's like... My I dads. thought Daddy's Home was an R-rated movie. I don't know. It might be. <laughs> fun for the whole family. I don't know. <laughs> hey, kids, come fun here. Fun for his whole family. See, uh, my... I don't know. Daddy's Home 2. Are you going somewhere with Mel this? Mel Gibson, so it's a crap No, shoot. I was just saying that John Cena's in that movie. And I was going to say, um, like, my house, we're kind of lax on... Oh yeah, no. Some things. My dad rented me like Aliens when I was like five. Yeah, and... yeah. What was that uh, MTV show? Silent Library. Silent Library. Yeah, Dolph Ziggler was good in that. He was good on that show. Go on. Silent Library was a game show. You had to be quiet, but they'd like hit you in the nuts with yeah. stuff. It had <laughs> Trent. Yeah, Trent Beretta was on it. Dolph Ziggler, and then like other guys I've never heard of. WWE uh, guys. Yeah, Chris from, Masters. From yeah, I think Masterpiece was on it. It, it was guys from like theater. FCW or OVW, like WWE superstars, and it's like at the time none of them were. When at the time, like when they did the weakest link, and they had like Kurt Angle and like Austin on there, some shit. And I love Kurt Angle and Austin. They're do, 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 they're not do, do, do. no names. One of them was. Well, I'm just saying, like the big game show, they put the big stars. Oh on. yeah, yeah. The yeah. shitty MTV game yeah, show, they Silent put fucking. Library yeah. that was. I might have to look that up. It was it was it's mildly humorous because it's. You know, they're like, oh, we were going to put this belt with, like, bungee cords attached to tennis balls on it and w- hit you in the nuts Did you ever see it? the family yeah. feud that has, like, the uh, like RVD and Mr. Kennedy and... No. It's like TNA uh, family awesome. feud. It's really entertaining. I think Foley's on there. Nice. Uh, it was kind of fun. Uh, anyways, <laughs> back to the SmackDown. They've got what... A couple of years ago was the best of the best of the indies or Japan, and they're like, I don't know, what do you want to do with them? Yeah, it's like, how about you just have them wrestle matches? Well, that's see, that's the thing. If you just put these guys in the ring and say, do it, they could put on a fantastic story. Every single one of them. We, I'm sorry, but. Regardless of the outcome, if anyone but AJ Styles wins that six pack challenge to face Nakamura at WrestleMania as champion, they've they've just thrown away a golden opportunity. Yeah, because that we all know AJ and Nakamura is not going to be Wrestle Kingdom ten. L- 10? Yeah, or was it eleven? Ten. Ten. It's not going to be Wrestle Kingdom 10. We know that. A, they're both a little bit older, you know, a couple years older. B, they're now WWE superstars. They are adjusting their style. Granted, it's WrestleMania when they're usually a little yeah, more Yeah, they, they usually let guys do their own thing. Yeah. We're, but we're at the end of the day, we're not going to get Wrestle Kingdom 12, uh, 10. We're going to get those two guys, though, are going to put on a hell of of a match. Now, Nakamura being the number one contender one way or the other, there are two other options in that match, and that's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Those are two other guys who could put on a clinic with Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, but, it, it, like, when, when Shinsuke won the Rumble and they threw the mic in his face... Yeah. AJ it, Yeah, he, he, like, he called out AJ. It's like... That's fine. It's the match I know, we want to see. I know that they have to have a main event at Fastlane. You know, like, they have to have a match for something to do with the men's title. And that's fine. I, You know, if it was 
Kevin Owens against AJ or Sami Zayn against yeah. AJ, fine. You know, that's fine. But it's like Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is fucking dull. Like, doesn't do it for me. It's well, like, oh, he does that cool, like, oh, I'm going to slide out of the ring and slide right back in. Look at me do that, guys. It, it's, 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 it's for the, for the, third, the yeah. third year, second year. When did he win the Andre the Giant thing? Is that last year or the year before? The year, year before. before. Mojo, Mojo won it this year. Yeah. Because Gronk helped him. Because Gronk helped him. Just and it was Baron it. Corbin, and the first one was... Show. A big Show won it at one point. Big Show was the first one. Cesaro. Cesaro won it. Okay, so out of... Uh, I'm just going to use the last two. I'm going to use um, Rowley and Baron Corbin. They, they're they using this new battle royal to elevate stars. They're trying to, at least. Nobody's done anything with that. They just, they, they come out. Jinder Mahal almost won it, and then he won the mm. WWE title. So, they come out for remember? every match they have for, like, six months, the trophy's out at ringside. I remember. And, you know, then they just have a longer name because it's now the winner of the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Yeah. Fucking Baron Corbin. Who cares? He, yeah. It's a weird name to have for your intro. Fuck it. Fucking Baron Corbin. Who cares? Care. Who cares? Who cares? I mean, that's how I feel. About so, it. so like going going into Mania, you know, obviously next week, I think we will continue. You know, as we're leading into WrestleMania, we'll start talking a little bit more um, on our indie wrestling podcast. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> but I think about that every week. But here's no, the, it's a it's a wrestling podcast. We do talk a lot about the it, indies, it, but at the end of the day, though, you know, the entire country uh, of, of internationally. The pro wrestling community is all going to New Orleans. Yeah, like that's just WWE. Love them, hate them, whatever. They they take up this little area, and then everyone else surrounds them. Yep, and that's really cool because you know, as like when I went to WrestleMania 31, there's so much WWE stuff going on. I had no idea what was happening. Probably ten minutes away. Yeah, I had no idea all these shows you know, we're running because I was just, you know, I was, I was still in shock and off or, you know, like, Oh my God, I'm, you know, I'm at WrestleMania. This is really cool. I get to see Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And then it's Seth Rollins lucky. win. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's just, we have the opportunity for, if you're, if, if Vince is so adamant about Roman and Brock for the, WWE fans give us something give give hardcore fans Shinsuke and AJ because yep. it's the you know that's the that's the best way to keep everyone happy and honestly I know it's not going to happen put Shinsuke and AJ on last Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble he deserves the main event but Roman Reigns won Vince's heart so he is so gonna he get it. He gets it. So he gets it. And it's it kind of sucks knowing that there isn't going to be a money in the bank cash in. Yeah, because uh, Baron Corbin fucking sucks. Doesn't Carmella still have hers? Oh yeah. Doesn't right. she have to use it? But oh no, it's a year. So July. I always forget that she's still a thing. I wish there wasn't a limit on when she had to use it by. So. Someone could keep it for like four years. Well, so, and someone could win it con. multiple yeah. times and then just cash in. No, no. Just How have this one. <laughs> just have oh, like a dolly great. with a bunch of them strapped to it. Like, <laughs> oh, you lose. Oh, let me use another one. <laughs> Try it twice in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to continue? Yes or no? <laughs> Insert a quarter to yes. continue. Yes. Um. So and let's if make you get some bets right now. If you get a hundred coins. Six pack challenge. <laughs> yeah, because that, that pay-per-view is next weekend, uh, I think. Is it? No, is it? Um, the Might amount be. of camera cuts in that six-pack challenge. I'm going to put the over-under at 99 and a half. O-V-E-R. Over. <laughs> over. Uh, I'm going to bid one, Bob. So you think under. Under Bold where? <laughs> Boxes or briefs. <laughs> ah! Come Let's on. Come on. Um. No, I. <laughs> I get it. Oh god damn it! Uh, 
Um, I'm excited Sorry, for Mania, lag. but I generally hate the pay per views between the Rumble and Mania. Well, no one wants to get. Yeah. So, so I actually read an article the other. Day. I don't remember who it was from. I don't know if it was a small time or big time. It was the Onion. No, I don't read the Onion. I just read kayfabe news. Yes, <laughs> actually, yeah, kayfabe, kayfabe news. news is the Onion for wrestling. So, anyways. Oh yeah, um, WrestleMania is canceled because Flo Rida can't appear. <laughs> <laughs> I read that this morning. <laughs> um, that someone was making the uh, the art. The, it was it was clickbait title. It really was, and it was like. And I click it every time. It was like. Um, the, <laughs> so it's your fault. They keep like. Going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've discovered the reason why uh, nobody's bumping hard, and it's, it's like nobody dude, wants to get hurt because it's fucking. They've been doing this for. 30 some odd years nobody wants to get hurt a month before Wrestlemania no cause they can't do all the cocaine the, the, and steroids anymore you, so. you can get hurt in January and usually be fine by April but February March yeah. you don't get hurt because right. you're if you sprain your ankle right that's why Na- Naomi had to give up the title last yeah. year cause she was injured and it's like she it was and game time back. decision that she was gonna be in that match um to win the Smackdown women's title yeah. back and it's like she almost didn't get to wrestle at WrestleMania in her hometown. Fucking uh, 31, Bray and Undertaker. They were both hurt. Bray sprained his ankle, like, getting off the, the bus to the arena. Yes. I Actually, I think I watched a video. Cultaholic, I think, or what culture had something like 10 times wrestlers were super fucking injured. Yeah. And both of them, like, Taker had... Taker had hurt like his shoulder. Taker and Brock. Never mind. Taker was like super fucking concussed for that. Oh yeah, he got he mm-hmm. got concussed like in the first like thirty seconds of the match. Yeah, he said he's. I think I saw an interview with him, one of his very rare interviews where he's, you know, or or someone talking about their interaction with him, and them saying that he didn't remember yeah. like the beginning of the match mm-hmm. at all. I can't wait for Brock Lesnar to go away. <clears throat> you know who should also go away. We should. Good night, everybody.